Meat Boy is back. Some of you might be wondering, Meat Boy, what are you doing? Isn't this a carnivore channel? Isn't this a health and nutrition channel? Why are you making Yoohoo? Well, I was watching a video the other day, I think it was on Barstool Sports, and one of the guys was drinking Yoohoo. And I remembered it from my childhood. I mean, I maybe had it once or twice, I never really drank it, but I certainly remember that I liked it. It was this sweet, unique tasting chocolatey drink so I got curious and Googled what was in it. I had absolutely zero expectations. And to my surprise, the base ingredients were actually pretty healthy. It was whey, cacao powder, sweetener, and some natural flavors as well as a little bit of salt. And it had a bunch of preservatives. And then if you look up like how to make Yoohoo on Google, it's like there's a secret recipe that they won't disclose and the recipe websites are telling you to use like Nesquik mix. Uh, so to my understanding, this is about as close to the traditional Yoohoo recipe that is possible. The creator originally made it because he wanted to use byproducts from other industries such as whey from cheese making and probably like chocolate grinds from candy bar factories or whatever. But today we are using incredibly high quality versions of this and whether you're an adult or especially for your kids, I think just about everyone will enjoy this. And there could be a few variations on this, but to my understanding, this is actually about as close as possible as you could get to a real Yoohoo recipe, just a bit higher in protein because we're gonna add a little bit extra. The main component is the whey protein. This is 100% grass fed. We have this on Frankie's free range meat as well as Frankie's free range foods if you just wanna buy it on its own. We source this from Australia and New Zealand because I don't trust the American farmers uh, to be 100% grass fed. A good alternative to this would be going to a local farm and buying the liquid whey. This is a bit higher in protein and it's just more convenient. Uh, for the sweetener, I'm going to use Nature's Glucose. We have this as well on Frankie's Free Range Foods. You could use raw honey, maple syrup, coconut sugar, anything high quality, organic. It's going to add its own element of sweetness. I think Nesquik even had uh, monk fruit sweetener in it. So you can try artificial sweeteners. Really a lot of experimenting to be done. But this stuff is crazy, crazy sweet. I think there's like 32 grams of sugar in just 11 ounces of Yoohoo. Uh, so keep that in mind. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla powder. It tends to just add that dessert, more approachable hint to it. Tiny bit of salt to bring out all the flavors. And here we have organic raw cacao powder. Uh, from a nutrient perspective, here we have a lot of B vitamins, super concentrated minerals. I think whey protein is a really underrated food. Uh, the nature's glucose is just pure glucose extracted from honey. So all cells in the body need glucose and whenever I have a headache, I actually take this stuff. It takes the stress of fructose off the liver as well as things like sucrose and sugar. So it's by far the healthiest sweetener because it removes the negatives, fuels your body with what it needs. Uh, vanilla, just you know, high quality vanilla powder, kind of expensive. The cacao has some copper, some magnesium, but you know, we're not consuming a crazy, crazy amount of it. Uh, so nothing too significant. Now the way Yoohoo is made is he bottled it and then he heated the products in the bottle. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna heat everything in a saucepan, bring out all the flavors, and then we're gonna put this in a blender, blend it up, strain it, see how it tastes. So we're gonna do 10 ounces of water, and this is filtered water from a local spring. And the way I got these measurements was I looked at the macronutrient profile of Yuhu and I kind of guesstimated. About one tablespoon of cacao powder, tiny pinch of salt, tiny pinch of the vanilla, and it's two and a half tablespoons of whatever sweetener you choose. I'm actually out of this. I've gone through like four jars of this this week. Of course, you could do this raw. I think we did a raw chocolate milk recipe once. You know, And hey, you could use uh, raw milk for this as well. But I think the cooked version is gonna be a little more flavorful. What seems like an incredible amount of sugar, but that's the recipe. That's what they put in it. I would say probably half a scoop of whey protein would be the accurate recipe. So I'm gonna whisk this on a medium high heat for maybe just two or three minutes to 
really bloom all the flavors. And since this was pasteurized in the bottle, I'm assuming it was just heated at a very high heat for maybe like 20, 30 seconds. You know, I just have a hard time believing that, you know, something like yoo is actually made with reasonable natural ingredients. Now that I'm smelling this, that unique flavor of the yoo was the way. And even though that was a lot of sweetener, the Nature's Glucose product isn't really that sweet because it's pure glucose and the sweetness and sugar and honey really comes from the fructose. Now the reason fructose is so sweet is because it's like telling your body not to eat too much of it. Whereas glucose is milder and your body wants more of it. I think that's good. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the glucose because I don't think I added enough and it'll also help. Is there like a rule against not putting hot stuff in the blender? Why am I afraid to open this? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that's why. I had a feeling something bad was gonna. <laughs> I was right. Blending that increased the volume a lot. It went from around 10 ounces to over 16 ounces. So we'll let this cool off for maybe five minutes, then we'll come taste it. I know you boys and girls want to see Gina, so let me see if she's awake. So she wasn't sleeping and she's definitely not gonna sleep if she drinks this. This is a great pre-workout drink. Whey protein and chocolate and glucose you probably run through a wall. And I don't mean like figuratively run through a wall, like you'll literally feel like you want to run through a wall if you drink something like this. The glucose, caffeine, protein, doesn't get more than that. Gina, what's up with the gloves? Fashion statement. Ah, YouTube people. Okay, so Gina, this is a, uh, it's a, uh, you ooh. might not know what this is. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> oh, it's a little warm still? Well, that's a little warm. I'm just going to get a straw for this. I want to schedule, boys. Can't cool down all the way. I'm going to just try a little bit of the foam on top. Mmm. Now, it's not a hot chocolate. Can you guess what this drink is supposed to be? Try it first. Does it taste like anything? Is it supposed to be coffee? No, Gina, it's not coffee. Mm. Kind of tastes like a hot chocolate. It's a bottled drink. It has a yellow label. Oh, it's a, uh, is it the Italian, uh, espresso drink I used no, to drink? No, it's like a kid's drink. It's like a something. Nice quick. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, she's close. It's Yuhu. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, it's close enough. Nice no, quick Yuhu. It's all the same to me. It's delicious. Have you had Yuhu before? I think uh, when I was a little kid. It tasted yeah, exactly she, she like She probably it. doesn't remember. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely Yuhu. Definitely now. It tastes so good. Mm. I don't trust our taste test or so. so it good. tastes a little bit like Yuhu. Mm. I would say if you want this to taste more like Yuhu, then don't go buy that either. crap because they're putting some type of natural flavor in there. Oh, this is good. But this is like a really, really tasty hot mm -hmm. chocolate. So if you guys tried this out, definitely let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. uh, mess around with the ingredients a bit and maybe mm -hmm. one of you guys can tell me how you make this taste a little bit more like Yuhu. I think, you know, the combination of so using like a high quality raw cacao and really high quality ingredients changes it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it's still really good. She mm -hmm. likes it. It's better than hot chocolate, that's for sure. <laughs> you guys can go check our hot chocolate recipe, but mm -hmm. this is really, really different from that. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Foods down in the description below. Uh, if you guys can please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment, and above all, if you could share the video on social media. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. We'll do a live stream a little bit later around 5 or 6 p.m.